Welcome back, ladies, for part three of our lap junk journal. Um, this is the journal that we've been building on. Now, as you guys recall, I had originally put a pierce and put an eyelet on this side of our junk journal because I had said we were going to put the signatures here. Well, then after a little bit of thinking, I decided, you know what, it would look actually better if I put two here and one here. So that's what we're going to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your eyelet and you're going to go half of your spine here and pierce a hole and use your crocodile for that. I did not do that for the video because my table kind of wobbles and so I didn't want to wobble the table. But go ahead and pierce it in the center um, and attach your eyelets and try to align it as best as you can to these here so that it's perfectly aligned. I attached it here on this side, even though this side, I'm probably gonna cover it with something, I'm not sure yet. So our signatures, if you guys have already started doing this, this is the Sherry Baldy Junk Journal Kit. And um, below this video, you're gonna see a link for that and use the coupon code JUNK, J-U-N-K, 10 no spaces and you'll get 10% off this kit so I use three of her covers and I'm going to put one here and two here and we're going to use some elastic now below you're going to see a link for my Amazon account you can uh, purchase this there it helps me replenish my supply so please do so and we're using a 1 8 inch elastic you're going to need some binder clips and in my Dollar Tree video, I purchased these and these are wonderful for a dollar, you get eight. So go ahead and grab those. You're gonna use some glue stick. And right now Walmart has a huge amount of these because it's back, back to school sales. Your blending tool, there's a link below for the Amazon where um, I purchased these, use that. Vintage photos, your sewing machine, if possible, if you don't have one, okay and we're going to use various stamps and I'm not sure which stamps I had decided to go with but I'm going to go and use some various stamps so you're going to need a block and your scissors and your ephemeras now this collection has several ephemeras from the cherry baldy collection um, and I put it in my little handy uh, pouch and you're also going to use some scraps of laces and fabrics and I have my little handy box here with all my scraps of laces and things. So let's get started. So aside from we pierce that, what I've gone ahead and done is I've taken my inserts, my pages for my signature and I stitched around the edges with my sewing machine using a black thread. I wasn't so particular about how straight my sewing stitches are. God did not make me a seamstress. I was not meant to be a seamstress because I cannot sew um, that well. But I like junk journals because this is my um, way of saying I can't sew. And I'm not too concerned about whether or not these stitches are straight. Actually, the more jagged, the more crooked, the more zigzag, the more whatever, the best it is. Now you see these little uh, staggering pieces of thread. That's the look that we want to go. So that is beautiful to me. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Or art's in the eye of the beholder. And I think that's great. So I have cut 15 of these printed sheets that I have baked with coffee dye. And you can use tea if you don't drink coffee or just buy instant coffee. It's actually the best, I think. Um, but if you have any leftover coffee from your morning brew, just use that. Um, so I stitched around. Now these pages are eight and a half by eight and a half and I scored it in the center. Your cover is nine by eight and a half and you scored it in the center at four and a half. This is smaller than our cover because that has to fit right inside. Now if you do happen to get anything that's kind of staggering in the outside or sticking out, just trim it off a little. It's no biggie. Again, it's a junk journal. This is one of those kind of projects that it doesn't have to be perfect. The imperfections, the um, ugliness that you think it's ugly is actually what makes it beautiful because it is a junk journal. So 
It's not meant to be perfectly aligned or perfectly stitched. It's meant to be a junk journal, okay? Now, I um, did my 15 pages. I have not done my center stitch on here because I'm not sure if I'm gonna stitch it straight with the sewing machine and then attach my elastic to that. So don't do that yet. I know in the past I've done. Now we're gonna decorate before we do any of that so that we're not too, um, well, we might decorate. I haven't decided. Before I stitch down the center with my sewing machine, I might clip these sides and then um, stitch it because uh, I don't want it to be too bulky and it'd be very difficult to get into the sewing machine, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. So you can use some old book pages. I have this old book page that I sewn and when you're sewing on um, book pages that are old, you wanna be really careful and not so, so fast because it's gonna tear through your pages. So you're gonna be, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take a while to sew your page, but it's best to do that or you're gonna be ripping through a lot of um, pages. And of course you can use your torn up pieces for um, patchwork, which we're gonna be doing, but you know, you're gonna get frustrated. So just go stitch, take your time when you're doing that especially with the old pages. So we are going to be doing some patchwork. And what's patchwork? Patchwork is where you're gonna take all the little pieces of scraps that you have from your collection, and you're just gonna create a page of your own, a, a design your own paper basically, with scraps and bits and pieces of various elements that you might have. So I am, let's see, I'm gonna put these aside. Oh, and Guys, we're also gonna use a Tad Punch from We Are Memory Keepers. I purchased mine at Tuesday morning. It was a lot more affordable, but if you find it at Joann's, make sure you use your 50% coupon because it, I think it's like 20 some dollars. So you wanna make sure you use your 20% coupon for these. But we are gonna be using that. Um, we are going to be using a corner rounder as well. And I think that's it. If I use anything else later on, I'll let you guys know. So I have gone in and I've made a little folder using plain cardstock and I stitched it and I used my little tab punch from We Are Memory Keepers. Now, these little folders are handy to uh, decorate your pages. Before I even do that, I'm gonna decorate that baby with some scraps and stuff like that. But that is what we're gonna be doing um, the punch board for okay so build onto your pages get grab all your goodies grab your coffee do whatever you need to do and let's start this okay so patchwork as you can see I've done here a patchwork and I've created various little layers and elements with the scrap pieces that are left over now with this we can take some gesso or white paint and just kind of, um, what do you call it? Put some sparkles or uh, dribbles of that. I can't think of it right now, but anyway, splatters. There we go, that's the word. We're gonna put some splatters. We can put splatters on that just to give it more character. But here's a pocket and then I just use scraps of the uh, paper line from uh, Sherry Baldy. Some of the pages I tore it up. Here's a tag from Sherry Baldy's collection and I sewed it, put a piece of uh, lacy fabric on there and there is one of her um, digitals and I did go around the sewing machine several times to give it that look. And you can do it that way because there's a little pull out there or you can leave it like that. And here you can probably put uh, a tag or something, um, a piece of something like this to write in there. We, of course, we're going to cut it. That's too big. That's actually for a library card we're going to make. But you guys get the idea of building on to these layers somehow, some way. Okay. So that is what we are looking at doing as far as patchwork. So let's do one. And these are little library cards that I had from before when I had a shop and I folded it in half. I sewed around, making sure I did not sew this, this, this little pocket. I attached this um, things to do. 
sewed around the stitch, fold it in half, and that's going to be a little insert for one of my pages. So that'll go just like that. All right, so let's grab, I'm going to move my little lap book. I'm going to do that. Let's grab some elements from the Sherry Baldy line. And let's create a little patchwork. Now, I showed you guys, I'm storing things in these little bins that I grabbed from. So these are little, you know, pieces that are, were left over from the collection. So we're going to use some of these to create some patchwork patterns. But I like this that I'm keeping it all nice and organized in here. So even like that, which we tore up, even that, that's perfect, you know. So let's tear up one of these. And I like this little script part, actually. It doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect is not what we're looking for. <clears throat> so once you, I don't want to throw that away. That's perfectly good, you know. Figure that there. Build it. Just build it. Build, build, build. That's all it is. And I like this one. So we're going to save half of this for something else. And grab your scissors. You can distress with your scissors. And distress this one out as well. You don't want perfect. That's what we don't want. Avoiding perfect. And I've shown, I've shown this um, tutorial, I think it was in 2017 when I did a journal. Um, and let's see what else I have. Oh, this is from a little cutout that I did on one of well, attached that, so that's good. Guys, I'm telling you, I think that once these nails fall off for me, I am not ever again. I used to get my nails done a lot when I was younger, and I could afford it, but not anymore. This stuff gets in the way of everything. I can't stand it. So maybe that one, that one can probably be used somewhere else. And I like this. This is an old book page. I like that. I won't go there. Probably I could probably slide it all the way through. And then just fold it out on the other side, right? So I might do that like that. And we have some trim here. You don't want to make them too bulky because remember, um, spacing. So yeah, that looks like I sewed that stitch there. Uh, we got this one. No. Pretty much something like that. And once you're comfortable with what you have, you can go in and start gluing it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it um, with my glue stick. And then you can go into your sewing machine and you can stitch it. Um, however you want. But before I do that, I want to take some of my distress inks. And this here, I am going to probably distress it before I do that. So let's distress that baby first. So I'm just using vintage photos from Tim Holtz. And of course my little blending tool.
And you can put, you know, laces, cheesecloth, anything you guys want onto this. And the look I'm going for is something that's been weathered down, beat down, grungy. That's that's what I like. I like grungy. I might go around these edges a little bit deeper. Again, because this is a, um, a book page, I'm going to go with the stitch um, just really gently. And I'm probably going to mount this to this here because I have this scrap here. So I'm just going to mount this so right on there. I'm not sure. Do I want do I want it torn? I think I want it torn. Let's tear that better. I like I like jagged edges. I don't know about you guys. I do, I do, I do, I do. So we're just going to go like that and sew it. And then that way we have a flip on the other side. And I'm just going to turn there. Okay, I know. I'm going to distress that just a bit. And I'm going to take my, oops, I got some dust in there. I'm going to go ahead and take my Distress Ink go around those edges. Now you can cover up your entire with the, your entire page with some patchwork techniques, um, but you don't have to. I think in the one I did in 2016, I almost covered pages like that, but it's been a while. Okay, so we're going to do that. I do have some pieces of scrap fabric and stuff like that, so I might put some of that there. The sorry ribbon. I can't go wrong with sorry ribbon, so I might just put that just like that because I like that look. And I think I'm zoomed in as much as I can. So, oops, I'm going to go put that sorry ribbon down. Again, we're going to be sewing this, guys. Sorry ribbon down. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's wonky, this is when, this is the only time I am allowed to do wonky, right? Because I typically, I don't like wonky. Don't want, I don't want wonky. So, but junk journals, it's okay to be wonky. It's perfectly okay. This is when you can liberate yourself from perfect alignment. You see, I tore that up, but that's okay. I'm not stressing about it because I am okay with that wonky. Because it just, it's just okay. I'm probably gonna leave it right there. Okay. So that's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold that in half. That way we know. And then this side we have all that craziness going on there. So Let's see what we put on the crazy sign. I got some old book pages. That's going to be sewn anyway, so 
looks like a little lap band. Okay. I'm sure Miss Penny is over there looking to see if I'm putting my glue, glue stick covers on or my um, ink cover back on. She is on guard about these things, guys. Okay. Um, I had this from. Um, printout that I had I'm sitting here so we're going to go ahead and grab that it's a little tab a little wonky tab but you know what I'm a perfectionist let me cut a better tab all right so this is really easy Believe it or not, if I can do this, you guys can do it too. And I'm just going to grab some scraps. So here is um, your tab board. I'm going to put this little indicator here, right in there. A little peg. Oh. Nails get on my way. Okay, you're going to punch down. And then you're going to remove your peg. And then there's small, medium, and large. You're going to flip it. So you did it this way, punched. Now you're going to flip it, and you're going to decide if you want a small tab, tab, a medium, or a large. I'm going to go probably with a medium just to give it a pop. Align it up to that and punch, and then you get that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here, and this is a little trimmer. I'm going to trim any extras. I'm going to line that little round part in here to that little groove or gusset and trim it off. And I'll store that back in. I have a little tab. And then we can distress this little tab. However, we want. Again, I go for grungy look, guys. Don't like grungy, then I don't know what to tell you. Let me put this here. So I think it'll look great right there. Let's distress it. And this is just little patchwork here and there. We're going to take bits, pieces, whatever. 23 minutes, guys. 23 minutes. We're trying to keep it under an hour. All right. So we're going to do it there. I'm going to screw that down. I don't know if you guys saw me trying to open it up. You're probably laughing over there at me. As long as you're laughing with me and not at me. All right. Okay. So, do that, and got some fibers, some fibers. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll put that like so there. And we're going to run this through the sewing machine. We'll probably put some fibers there to cover up that. We don't want these eyelash fibers. some of this mess up. Okay. 
So that's going to go like so. That's going to go like that. And yeah, we're going to do it like that. You can probably stitch this one down here. So then we got this little. See what I mean about these nails? Oh my god! Like, ugh! What was I thinking? Thinking it was pretty, but it's not functional. I don't know how anybody does it with those big old nails. You know, I mm -mm, I had them big and I trimmed them down because I just could not do it. Mm -mm. It is just not me. Just not me. Okay, I like it there. Okay, we're going to go with there. The heck with it, we're going to go with there. Oh, I'm going to screw that backwards. It's very brilliant. You want me to stay? Come on, dude. Okay. And then we're going to grab one of her little ephemera tags or tickets. has a nice color pop to it. I like the color on this one. So we're going to distress that one. And I had to fussy cut these guys. Seriously. Fussy cut these. And I see I messed up on one. Not messed up, but I forgot to I found that I don't care for the Tim Holtz as much as they're made for fussy cutting. I don't care for them for fussy cutting because of those serrated edges. I just don't care for that. It takes too long to fussy cut with them. And I don't care for that. And I like regular uh, trimmers for that. I'm not sure if I want to possibly... Let's do that. Okay. Do I want, do I want, do I want, do I want? Don't want to cut the, um, the little photo. Uh, we could probably put a little paper clip here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll use this. We're going to put um, a button on one end and we're going to use that. So I think this is really good patchwork right where it is. So what I'm going to do, and I'll be back, we are going to sew this down, sew this first, and then we're going to um, attach it here like so and then I'm going to sew this around the edges and then I'm not sewing this down I will place it just like so so that it moves in like that okay so I'll be back alrighty then so we've stitched it and I've made I went ahead and stitched it straight first I stitched this then I glued it down on one side because, see that? And I stitched it all down. So I glued down the side, ran it through my machine, and I stitched it there. 
And that's what I have because I wanted a little pocket there. And then here's this little tabby thingy that we created. And that will go like that. Then I have these little library cards that I picked up at Tuesday morning um, in my haul. And I grabbed one of those. And I'm going to take some of the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. Just kind of get the edges. Too new for me. We don't want you. And the little image I'm using is from the collection, uh, the Sherry Baldy collection. And let me grab this here. So we have this little pretty girl. We're going to sit her just like so. Then we have all these scraps of. Um, lace and we're probably going to throw some in there and we have some cotton trim that I had from my project the other day grab some of that and I like the jagged edges so I like that and like that what else do we have in this little mystery? Awesome goodies. We got some more sorry ribbon. We can probably stitch a little tag up here like that. So we're going to probably do that. So let's get the handy little glue stick here. And I will run this through this machine. I'm just going to kind of do little bunny, bunny ears. Just like so. And then we'll run it through the machine. And then we have this here. Let's tear this up a little. Let's beat it up a little. And I've, this is so old. I've, coffee dyed it and it's been around this here for quite some time I'm gonna do that just like so that like that and we'll stitch her and then in the back what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little stamp before I do that let's do that I have this little stamp and you can journal do that before we do anything else and this is from Kaiser Craft and I don't know I'm not a stamper but hey I'm not going for perfection to be honest this is about the only time I want to release stress and not worry about perfection. Perfection is not what I'm going for. I'm going to try this little... You know what? I wonder if I should cover that. Let's cover that with some of this. Let's back it up with this. This is the the tag. This is the Sherry Lock Baldy's um, collection. So I'm just gonna back it up. And it's got jagged. This is the little issue we had the other day when we had the sewing issues. But again, imperfection is what we're going for. We're not going for perfection. Where's that little handy stamp app? Okay. Although that has lines, we don't even have to add lines. Good figure. Well, we're going to go ahead and add some lines anyway. How's that? I did not eat this baby for nothing. Right? 
And then this world one. This is a rocking block that was gifted to me by Young Sue. So we used it for that. And we'll probably use that. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this down. It's going to be stitched anyway, guys. Yeah. It doesn't have to be so perfect, and that's the best part. that it's going to be stitched so it does not have to be super perfect okay so I'm gonna go and stitch this and we'll be back so we've stitched the back as you can see and I'm just gonna trim just a tad bit on my little tail there and then we're going to start gluing these little pieces down so we can stitch these babies down. And I'm probably going to trim this one so we can use some of that for something else. There. Just now we could use that for something else. So we're going to go and stitch her down just like so, and then she should fit right snug in here. She should. Maybe not before we that's that's a good thing I checked. Maybe too much layers. Okay, so let's not let's not put the the crochet piece. Let's put a piece of notebook page or something in here to give it some oomph. You know. I like the 26D there. 26D, I don't know what 26D is. It's a page, I guess. <laughs> bingo card too. Let's see what the bingo card. Let's see if we can put her. She'll fit like this in here. Oh yeah, she'll fit. Perfect. We might have to trim a little bit the 2060 because remember, well, we'll leave it like that for now. Case in case I don't have to trim, I'm not going to trim it. I'm not going to trim it. Not going to trim it. Okay. So let's. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing some of this patchwork. Now, I'm not going to do every single page with you guys because that would entail a lot of um, long hours. Um, 
I will every time I come in and I show you something else and I do have to add some pockets so we're not done we, we got some pockets to put into the cover and when I do add something new a new page then I will come in and do a, a quick little video so we got some stuff still to do put that there and then we're going to put her just like so like that and then we'll do a video on how we put our signatures on that i'm going to leave that for one of the last things just because it's a little bit more complex not so co complex i mean but just so that i can explain it to you guys better all right so that's going to go like that in there i think that'll look cute just like that see let's show you this way all right so what i'm going to do is i want to run this to the sewing machine we'll be back and I, I probably can just go to the sewing machine and talk to you guys not a baby okay guys i really think that um Cheap sewing machine is the actual way to go. Because um, let me tell you, I've ruined my other machine badly. I mean badly. I mean badly. Like, um, the bobbin thing came off completely. So, we don't want to use an expensive sewing machine for paper sewing. Um, and I can't tell you the looks I get when um, I've taken it in last time it's because I told them I was sewing on paper. And she just said, I don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it. And I said, well, that's what I bought it for. I'm not a seamstress. And she's like, nope, don't want to hear it. And I said, well, you heard it. <laughs> I still want paper. I couldn't tell you how, I mean, I've done, no, I'll take it back. I've done doll dresses before in the past. Um, that's just too much work. Too much work. Not down to all the work. Okay. So we've left a little pocket in here so that if you want to tuck something in there, you can. That's going to go like so here. Like that. Um. And we still have a little 26 there, and then this will go like that. We could probably use that one in another page. We don't want to use that little lap band, but so those are two pages that we've got completed. And on the back side of my my little thing here, I just put that so they can write notes. And oh, I forgot. Let's I'm gonna put uh, be courage courageous. Um, I'm gonna, I am going to stitch that one. And this is for someone who's um, been in a hospital. And I'm going to, actually, I'm not even going to stitch it. I'm just going to put it right there. Actually, I am going to stitch it. Ah, make up your mind. Woman. Typical woman, right? This is for, I'm, I'm making this for somebody, so. So be courageous. And I stitched it. And I just stitched it on the top. So you can also use that as a little, you know, tab to tuck something underneath. And actually I could do that. Let's grab one of Sherry's tickets in this collection. And that way they can... Um, put that in there. Okay. So 
So we got some pockets that we're going to do in the book, the lap book itself. Um, and and then we're almost done with that. We're going to cover the outside and hopefully we'll get, so we're going to tuck a little ticket in there like that. That'd be cute. And that will go like that. Oh, you're sticking out too much. You're becoming a pain on my booty. Pain in the booty, and you're going to be gone. There. So we got that, and then we have some paper clips. And some buttons. I like that one. one has thread and I like it. I like it. I like it like that. One has gold. So a little bit of the color theme. I didn't so I'm gonna put that sandwiched in like that. My glue gun is uh, ready to go. And you know what? We have this little piece. So let's not toss this and let's use some of this. Even recycle, recycle, recycle. Distress this one. And you know that little piece of trim I just tore up? We're going to sandwich it right in here. We're going to use as much of our scraps. That's, that's what these little, and I'm going to do a little bit of a series on how to use these scraps up because we throw them away and there's so much use for it. Out of here. Why not use it in something called a junk journal, right? There's that pin. So we're going to put our pin in there, or not pin, our paper clip. Just like that. Okay, let's glue that baby down. And I could probably see that little scrap. We're going to use that scrap. We're going to. Buttons, our little two buttons, our little piece of crocheted trim, another little button on top. Again, I'm not worried about perfection, it's all about the imperfection right about me. And then we have, I guess that one can go for another project. I should be able to slide that in. Okay. So we should be able to slide that right in there. And it does. Let's get the glue to glue down a little bit more. Alright, so that'll go right like that. Nice and junky. Okay, so this little lap band we can probably use for another page in our junk journal. Um, we have this one here that we've made, or that I made, and then, then we have this one. And then this little lap band, I could probably use it on one of the other pages. I can even put it like that. Where's my others? Where's the others? Seriously? Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um. Now I put it aside. Put 
put it aside and I put it aside and I can't remember what I did. Okay, so here it is behind me. Behind me. Look behind you. Um, so we see we got that and we can probably decide which page we want in the front. Which page if I can put that there. Um, that one there. Like so. But you guys get the idea. See that? We don't have to sit there and decorate every single one of these pages. Um, because you want a place for the person that you're gifting it to to write on there. Um, so this here they can write. I can probably stamp something there before I even uh, attach it. This one here, I could probably put that little lap band like that right there. I do need to uh, distress that. Um, and then how to make these. I guess we can do that now. Right? Right. Put that one there, and I'll show you how to make that. Okay, so we've done some patchwork. You guys get the idea of how we're going to do the patchwork. And then um, we're going to do um, this. It's going to go probably on one of these pages, just like that, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Okay, so for this little baby um, file folder, let's clean this here because it's exploding. Because no, okay, I use all the scraps, throw it in there because we're going to use that for some other stuff. Smoky. All right, so this one here um, is my Victor ruler. There's a little link below, guys. This one is eight and a half by five and a half, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. And you're just going to get a piece of cardstock, basically. And I'm going to use one of Sherry's um, collection for this. And we're going to go eight and a half. So this one, I'm going to use, you know what? Let's go five and a half. Let me show you one of Sherry's collections from this kit. Now this is, um, this goes with that collection. Now this is what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to score it. This is going to be a little smaller than that one. So I did do it five and a half. That I did do. So it's five and a half inches and it is seven and three quarters, this particular one. Or seven and yeah, three quarters. So we're gonna go half B. I think it's three and seven eight if I'm right. And if I'm wrong, shoot me. And I'll know here in a second if I'm wrong. Oh right. Three and seven eight. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's gonna look like that. And you're always gonna have um it's a, it's not gonna be that exact same size. Well, I guess this is not a perfect example to show. Okay, scratch that off the record. Scratch that off the record, guys. Let's grab another one of hers. Let's do this one. Let's gotta be for that one I did, it's gotta be eight and a half by five and a half by eight and a half. And the reason being is because we gotta trim. Um, Eight and a half by five and a half is what you want for the little tab. Okay, so here's that. And Scoreboard here. So 
So it's eight and a half, so we're going to go at four and a quarter. I'm so professional, right, guys? <laughs> I just laugh. I laugh at myself sometimes, guys. All right, so we're going to bring this little handy peg. And we're going to do this side. We're going to put it in. Punch. Remove our peg. And then we're going to flip it. And we're going to do a medium. So I'm going to put it up, flush it against the medium. Punch. And then I'm going to bring it up here. And I am going, where's that? Down? Right there. I am going to cut right up there. So I want to slide my little blade with the little round up in that gusset. Just like so. And so now you have a little file folders, but you see how short this is? So what we're going to do, you're going to use that for something, for sure. This little scraps, we're going to use it for something. Again, let's put that little... So now we have that little folder, okay? Now, take your corner rounder and round out your corners. And there is a rounder on that We Are Memory Punch. There is a round corner rounder. So then you have that, right? And the way I did it is I kind of just sewed around the edges and I do a variation of stitches. If you can see, I do a zigzag. I just kind of change it in between. And these are perfect for little mini journals if you wanted to make little mini journals as well. And this side's going to be yucky. So let's just stress this side as well. And then I'm going to take this baby to the sewing machine. And Here. I really love this little blending tool, guys. I can't express how much I like it. Okay, okay I'm going to go ahead and distress this little tag that I had, this ticket from the Sherry Bar Baldy collection. I'm going to go ahead and distress that because I want to use it as I'm creating this pocket for you guys. Let's cut this a little. I'm going to go ahead and build it together and put it on this journal. I'm going to do the same thing with these little scraps because we are not wasting scraps. So these are the scraps that we just cut off and we're going to use them to our best abilities. The best thing to do when you're when you have all these little scraps and stuff is just sit down on a rainy day or a cold winter day. We don't have cold here. Um, sometimes I wish we had cold. This is a little piece of a, um, ephemera that I had laying around here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. It's not from the collection, but that's okay. Um, you can use any ephemeras from any other collection that you want to create this journal. Just make sure you stop by the Sherry Baldy website and grab this kit. Okay, so um, these little, on a rainy day, you can grab some of these little um, ephemeras and play with them all day and create something entirely different that you would have not done otherwise. that it's probably
I missed my little um, little punches that I used to have. Okay. So we're going to probably glue that down like so. Again, building on, and I'm going to grab. Here's this collection leftover that we just cut. I'm going to grab some of this. I'm going to add it because I don't want to waste it, right? So let's grab that. So yeah, on a nice rainy, cold day, either rainy or cold, whichever you have, you could have both probably, you know, sit down and sew, sit down and glue, sit down and piece, do patchwork with some of your leftover scraps of stuff that you have. This one. What do have this? And I'm going to bring this here. Oh, these nails, these nails, these nails. You're just going to hear me complain about my nails. See, nice little piece work. So now we're going to glue it down. And we're going to stitch it. Before I before I, I completely, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let that kind of, I want to, Just sew this down and then glue it onto that. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope it makes sense to y'all. And the reason being is. I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it all the way down to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew here. I'm going to sew around here and then I'm going to glue it to here just like so. Okay. Okay. I thought I was uh, recording when I looked up I wasn't. So I made another paper clip um, and the thing about these is you don't want to catch your two little, little two little legs as I call them. I've used some of these scraps that I have laying here. Um, and I used um, some of that eyelash fiber, one of Sherry's tickets from this collection, a piece of the Dollar Tree trim that I showed in my Dollar Tree haul video, and a piece of linen from my project from the other day, and another piece of that. And I have already stitched these. And what I did is I stitched the patchwork, then I glued it on to my file folder and before I glued it I went around and I stitched and I randomly did some zigzags here and there and that's that's that and then now we got our paper clip that's gonna go and like so right there and isn't that cute and then that is gonna go like so in one of these so we have several little things that we've done in this entire little you 
this entire little, what do you call this, series, right? So see how much, how beautiful that is? It all looks so pretty. There's that, and then we have things to do, which I could probably move it on to something else. Put it on this one. And journal there. Um, we're going to distress that one a little bit more. And there's that one, there's that one, there's that pocket, and we'll probably move that one. Let's move that one. Let's move that one. One, two. We can move that for another one of our little stuff that we've got going on because we've got a lot going on here. Um, and then we can definitely take some more of her tickets and make little put buttons and lace and trims and attach it to the sides um, to complete this. And I think that's good. I just got to finish this one up here. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, so I'm going to finish this one off camera. I'll show you what it looks like, but that is this entire little collection here. Here I'll probably take some of her tickets and add it to the corner for a little tuck away pocket. And that is this signature. And it'll go in here just like that. And then I will probably, I don't want to make it too fat. Remember, I don't want, you don't want to make it too, too fat because I'm going to try to align these up really good and sew it in my sewing machine. Hopefully it'll work. I know that's how I ruined the other sewing machine before um, and took it in to get repaired and they supposedly fixed it, but I guess I did more damage to the bobbin than I thought. So we're going to probably stitch straight down with the sewing machine down there um, on that side. So yeah i think i think that's it for this here and then um, we'll do the rest and we'll do that on another video till next time bye